It's a coach-player relationship, a bond that almost didn't happen. It was 2018, and Brennan Webb had just been hired to lead Tennessee's men's golf program. But at that same time, Hunter Wolcott wasn't sure golf was for him. Down on his luck and needing a change, Hunter found his game and his confidence through buy-in and belief. If I was in an area of my life where I just struggled to believe that this game was for me, I was contemplating hanging up the sticks, and he came here and just truly inspired belief in myself every day, just telling me how great I was, telling everybody on the team how great they were and how good we could be. And so just through days and repetitions of being told that, you start to believe it yourself, and you just truly have a deep belief of who you are and what you want to be and what you want to become. And there's like only really one way to play. You guys always get it up and down. It's like no one's taking their time to... Yeah. Visualize like this. The visualization is like done for you on this shot right here. People that knew Hunter and people that knew me, um, they didn't like our chances of, of surviving together. Um, you know, heard a lot of stories about Hunter and, and who he was, and um, and never really put a whole lot of credence in it. You know, I wanted to, to make my own opinions, and he took um, accountability of his actions. You know, he didn't place the blame on others. He was willing to admit that he'd made some mistakes and that there were things he needed to do better. And I think that was a, a really kind of gave me um, a, a nice positive feeling about that, you know, he could change and he could uh, turn it around. Yeah. And with a renewed passion and new outlook, it didn't take long for Hunter to see instant results. Our first event that we won when he first got here was just like, oh wow, this is kind of, we'd put in so much hard work just in a month and then we won a golf tournament. And then the next week turned around, we won the golf tournament again. And I, I've had my best individual finish in college. I think I finished fifth that week and was kind of flirting with the lead at times. And so just right out of the gate when he got here, we'd just followed his guidance and done a couple things the right way and had success. And you know, through that success, it was like, oh wow, if we just keep doing this, some big things are ahead. I think that was probably some of the struggles I had early on in my career um, with the former coaching staff. They just, they didn't have the fire inside of them to win. They were okay with finishing fifth place at a tournament and Coach Webb wants to win. He doesn't care if, if he gets second in the national championship, he doesn't care. He's, he's got a fire burning in him that he wants to win something. And um, I, I have the same fire in my belly that I just, I just want to win and whatever happens, you know, at all costs. And much like he drives the golf ball, Hunter's been a powerful force as this rejuvenated golf program has risen to new heights. And that success has been all driven by the love of competition. I think from, the, from day one, I've been a strong voice of leadership. Um, just grew up with two brothers who just grinding, competing all the time. My dad played golf on the PGA Tour. I just feel like through all the experiences I had to play high school basketball. Uh, I was captain of our team. I just feel like I've had some experience in my past and then I got here and everyone wanted to compete so hard and we were all starting on a level playing field. And I, I did not do it alone. There was guys you know, along the way who helped me compete and helped me lead. And I'd say I'd, do, I'd definitely bring a voice to some of the guys that some of the guys are following along with and um, taking it as their own. He's you know, been an extremely hard worker, an extremely great leader. Uh, and obviously it's played great, you know? And so um, I think it was, it was really a big surprise to see where he was and what he's become for sure. And you gotta give him all the credit in the world for um, following the, his plan and working hard and, and caring about what was going on around here beyond just himself. After leading Tennessee in scoring average last season, Hunter obviously has high hopes for this year, not only for himself, but also for his team. It's his final goal round on Rocky Top, and he's learned plenty of life lessons, made some indelible memories, and friendships that will last forever. I'd say the biggest lesson that I learned was just maturity and seeing how far I've come. Um, knowing exactly where I was at the end of my sophomore year to where I am standing here with you at the start of my sixth year. And knowing everything and all the hard work that's led up to this point, just the biggest takeaway is just seeing how much you can change in your life in four years and heck, even six months if you just really put your mind to it and really work for it.